Hi, and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. My name is Shannon, and this is the original Texas Fly Fishing Report. It's brought to you by me and my website, www.texasflycaster.com, which has been online since 2007. Feel free to go there if you need any more information, more details on fly fishing, on gear reviews, on books, and movies, and music, and things related to fly fishing from my perspective. Thanks for watching this report, and we'll see you on the water. Hi, how's it going? This is the Texas Fly Fishing Report for June 9th, 2017. We uh, kind of taking a different position here because we had a big rainstorm come through this morning. It's still kind of rainy out there, so I had to bring the camera in and out of the rain, so to speak. Uh, that's what's going on here in North Texas is we've got these little things, these storms coming through. And to me, um, it has an effect of that thunder and lightning seem to for what I do, fly fishing and guiding for carp, seems to kind of push those guys off, kind of scares them off a little bit for a little while, maybe a day or two. So that's, uh, that's the downside. Um, but as you saw in the opening video cuts, um, I did have a, a good couple of days this week of fly fishing for carp off the skiff. It's something you can do too if you're in North Texas or even if you're not. Um, I do book trips for people from all over uh, all over the world now actually coming in to do that um, and it's a really really fun outing but uh, this report goes much wider than that and at the very end you'll see um, the scroll I went ahead and re, re had time and they got that out in time to put the scroll on there so that um, if you want to check water bodies in Texas and the Texas Gulf Coast, uh, you can do that there. Just watch the scroll and stop it when you see something you want to read. Uh, from what I'm seeing as I skim across everything that I look at and all the information I take in every week, uh, there's some, some kind of muddy water here in, uh, in the lakes in Texas, which probably would translate into the rivers too because of these sporadic rainfall events that we've been having. And it, it's been kind of concentrated dumps, really. I think we had. Um, a very dry May and then June kicked off with a bunch of rain so that's what we've got going on here and so you'll see in the reports something that they call it kind of stained water which is basically muddy water and lightly stained which those things are problematic to fishing and fly fishing and that's what I expect you guys to discern from looking at that scroll at the end is how to translate conventional fishing information there into fly fishing information for your own benefit. So keep that in mind. It, it's not uh, pointless to look at conventional fishing reports. I look at them on message boards and all over the place. For example, one message board I was looking at was talking about huge crappie being caught on Lake Ray Roberts, which is the lake closest to me and the one I go to the most. And so that is a uh, one of those things that I can get out there with a fly rod and based on depth and, and knowledge that I get from those guys actually maybe target some crappie if I want to try something different. But we're deep into the carp season now and what I'm seeing on carp is uh, more detailed. If you go to www.texasflycaster.com there's a post that goes with this video. It's on the front of the page right now and that will detail um, the habits and the 
kind of the stylings of, of catching carp right now, if you want to call it that. Uh, be sure you go go to the website and check that out because those details um, evolve. And right now we're in a we're in a kind of interesting mode where we're waiting for one thing to happen, but another thing's going on. So just keep that in mind if you're a carpet carpet a carp person like me. Um, the Texas Gulf Coast seems to have leveled off some, not quite as, as hot as it was. You can kind of expect that with the temperature leveling off and, and the, everything kind of seems to be leveling off, so to speak, which is not unexpected. We, uh, we're waiting for the heat. I mean, we haven't gotten it yet. I mean, it hasn't really been crazy hot. And uh, of course, we have the hottest months ahead of us. So that is something that we always have to have to kind of qualify is that uh, we'll have 100 degree days and that will change things and slow fish down on my flats here in North Texas and it will uh, definitely have an effect on the Texas Gulf Coast. I skipped you know kind of through the, the, the lakes and all that because you can read about it and that they're all generally doing the same thing uh, depending on your your geography or where you are north and south. But uh, the Texas Gulf Coast thing, um, speckled trout are still going, redfish are on. What I do see as, as an indicator of temperature is that they're not concentrating now on shell and not concentrating on mud. They're finding them on the sand, which when you find them on the sand, that means you've got a, to me, that's the way I interpret it, is you've got a pretty leveled off temperature range where they're not seeking warmth or seeking cooler water they're just on the move so that's that's really good in a way because they're much easier to spot on the sand so keep that in mind and the edge of the grass and stuff like that that's about it I've got uh, a lot of more information on the Texas Flycatcher website of course I'm gonna keep it short so you guys can go off and go fishing um, be sure that you pay attention to the weather this stuff comes out of nowhere it can be very dangerous. Uh, the winds are one of the reasons why we've got, another reason why we've got some muddy water around here is the winds kick in and they really shake things up and then and it goes away. And don't always believe what you read on any app or anything about the winds because it can be way off right now. It's unpredictable. Thanks for watching. Be sure you go to texasflycaster.com. Be sure you contact me if you're interested in booking a, a carp trip, you know, seeing some of the action like you saw at the beginning of this uh, report, and I will talk to you soon. If you got anything to let me know, be sure to contact me, 940-380-0408. How about that for a phone number? You don't get those very often. Make sure you give me a holler. Thanks so much.
Thanks for watching this week's Texas Fly Fishing Report. And again, if you have time, be sure to go to www.texasflycaster.com. There's more details there. There's information about my guiding service and a plethora of other information that you might find interesting. And if you have any information for me, please feel free to let me know and I'll be glad to take a look.